Hello everyone and thank you very much for tuning in. Welcome back to Factorio Cities. I of course am Rotype and in the last episode we built all of these advanced circuits, almost none of which are running because we have a Darth of Plastic. And the Darth of Plastic is because if we run down here to where our plastics being made, we can see that we have almost no petroleum. We have almost no petroleum. I mean, I guess we can look at, here we go. We have 1.4K and I think that's kind of just lounging around in here. Even with the pump, it seems you can never quite extract all of the petroleum from tanks. So, but that's really just because we have not enough crude oil. So that is uh, a problem that's going to be quite difficult to solve, actually, because as we will go back here and remind, we have these that are our only source of crude oil. That's that's it. Just those guys. So we're going to need to pretty soon head up to here and hook some more oil into our train network. We have a couple of these very, very widely scattered. But before I do that, what I'd like to do is just run down here a little bit. We're going to extend the block a little bit more, or the block system, I suppose I should say. I'm going to switch to my termites and have them just kind of start demolishing these trees while I do this. I'm going to build, obviously, what's going to be a slightly different block because it has the train system in here. But we're going to kind of extend this out, and I think what I'm going to do with this block, because it's a little bit cut off by the train, is I'm going to make this kind of our, what you'll see other Let's Players or people call the, the shopping mall. I'm going to build my inserters in here. I'm going to build, what else, my transport belts. All those kind of little items that you don't necessarily need for uh, like mass production of something. We're just going to build them for ourselves. That's all going to be in here. Things like assembly machines, all that kind of stuff. So we'll get started in this episode, see how far we get. But first things first, as always, clear all these darn trees. Luckily, these nanobots make it fairly simple, although it is slightly annoying when they leave some of these trees around with very little health. I don't know what that's about. I don't know if different trees have different health levels to begin with. Looks like they all have 50, so I don't know what the, uh, the termites are up to. We'll just go ahead and clean this out. And actually, another thing I should do, I don't have any on me, so I'll go get some more brick. And let's see, this is my brick box. And with the brick, I can fill in this path. Let's go up to four. Now, I am probably going to build some kind of gate system here. Because I think it will look cool and it'll be a fun project to work on. But that might be something for another episode. So we'll deal with that later. For now, I'm just going to try to kill the rest of these trees. Come on now, termites. I'm going to clear these guys out. We're going to have to clear out that rock, which is unfortunate. Yeah, see this guy. Like, you only have 50 health. Why did you only get 20? Whoa, whoa. No sense complaining. It is what it is. We'll have this section here to come down. Here we'll build... This is actually a pretty prime location for a gate system because there's no turn or anything else. Hopefully this turn isn't too close, but we'll give it a shot. And then here as well, I think we'll build a little gate system. I'll just connect these guys in. Oh dear. Alrighty. I'm not gonna do all of this. I'll just take this down and connect it in. We'll call that good for the path. There we go. And from here, I think I can switch back to the construction robots, which I have. Yeah, there we go. A bunch more. And we can start having this fill in automatically, which will be nice. There we go. Although there's still these stupid trees. And actually, I'm just going to go termite these trees and we can fill these in manually. I'm going to need to disassemble these rocks. Let's see. Man, there's a lot of them over here. Over to you. I'll have to think again a little carefully about how I want to do these power lines. Because they're not in a straight line. 
If you know anything about me, I appreciate straight lines. So we'll take care of this. I think these just go straight up to the radar and eventually the radar will be on the side of one of these blocks. So that we can probably fix rather simply, but I'll do that kind of menial stuff off camera. All right, that should be good for the construction robots. I have no lights. Well, I have to go get some lights. The point of building this, by the way, is to finally get rid of all of this spaghetti, which will be super handy. Well, I don't know if it's handy. It'll be it'll be really nice to not have a bunch of spaghetti in the middle of my nicely gridded blocks. At least I'll feel better about it. All right, we're just going to do a little bit of wire maintenance here. This will let me. There we go. I don't know what algorithm they use for wire connections, but it's such a mess. All right, just a few more over here. Uh, you should not connect to you. You should connect to you. None of these diagonals, please. No. And what in the world is going on here? No. Yes. No. Um, you should not connect over here. You should connect here. Okay. Good enough to start. Do want to get rid of that rock. Thank you. Okay. So now we can go with luckily something I've already designed. This is my belt kind of design that I've utilized a couple times in the past, probably not on camera ever before, but I think it works pretty well. So let's see where I might as well, I think, put it as close as possible. I might move that bottom section with all the chests down a little bit to below the train tracks. But I'll explain this in just a minute after I place it. There, how about that? And let's get the robots to do all this. Hey, go ahead, please place all these things. Am I out of, yeah, I'm out of these guys, all right. So let's grab, oh, just grab this whole block. Uh, if I could, everything in the box. What else am I missing? Iron plate. Okay, we'll go get that. You probably need gears because you often need gears and green circuits as well. Here we go. Okay, now making these should be easy. Uh, I'm also out of belt. Man, I'm just out of all kinds of stuff. Should remember to restock before I start episodes. There we go. Okay, now my inventory is full, which I don't really like. But we'll get these robots to work. Okay, anything else fancy going on here? I need a couple of these. Probably make more of those while I'm here. All right, so this is my whole setup. Looks like it's, for the most part, built. A couple pipes. Uh, one and one. Okay, so the way this works is all of the inputs come in here and we'll have to maybe rearrange these a little bit because they're coming up from the bus instead of over, but we'll handle that. This is our entire setup of belt related items. As you can see, we've got belts, undergrounds and splitters. Oftentimes you see these in kind of a like a box design. Like a lot of people will do things like this. And then, you know, down here like this and like that, or that was off, but you know, they'll do like a big design like this and fill this in. I don't really like that, mostly because your boxes are kind of in the middle of this big box design. And I really like to just roll up and know, like have my boxes here and say that these are what I want. So I redesigned it. Uh, I do need some more filter inserters for this to work. Okay. Let's see, how many? One, two, three, four more. Okay. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay. So the way I have it set to work is everything is produced and dumped on this line. We have one of these two lines. And then if, so we'll take a look at this guy here. Actually, you don't need, yeah, you, so you need transport belt. So transport belt comes out here. It goes out here. Now there should be, maybe I reversed the direction of this. 
Ah, no, okay. So transfer belt goes on both sides here. Comes in this side. I apologize. It's been a while since I designed this, but I did check that it works. Transfer belt comes out on both sides. On this side, it has an opportunity to be input over here. And this one will take it if need and drop over here. Now, I believe, if I remember correctly, yeah. So you needed a underground belt. So underground belt comes down. It's on this line. And it'll be have the option to be picked up over here if this one needs it. This one needs it. Great. If not, it continues down and moves along. Everything eventually, if it's not intercepted by another machine along the route, will end up down here and picked up by the appropriate filter inserter to put in the appropriate box. Now you'll see these boxes are all wired up to my circuit connections. That's so I can read how many of whatever this material is in the box, and that will control these inserters to drop off. So you can see here, if there is less than 1,000 belt in the box, I'm going to keep spitting out belt onto this guy to be filtered through and eventually end up in here. That way, this line does not get clogged up with one particular material. So you can imagine if I were just continually making belt, but I needed something else that were dropped on this multi-purpose belt. So you can see I have a fast belt here. If this line is clogged up with regular belt, then the fast belt won't have a output station and won't end up on here and you'll get kind of a weird bottleneck. The, the box could be full and the whole line could be, it's just, it's just a mess. I suppose I should just turn it on, right? <laughs> so let's see. You need iron plate and gears. Now, if I remember correctly, and I'm going to have to do a little bit of work here to remember how this is exactly set up. Looks like you, okay, yeah, you go to here and you connect here to here. Here goes to here, which is here to there. Now this looks like it should be a split iron and gear line this guy right here because this needs to come up again we'll retrace just to make sure comes up goes to here there here to here here to there and skips ahead to here and this is the only input to this machine which needs iron and gear okay so this is one we know i am i think Going to go ahead and put some walls. Uh, I don't have any walls. All right, so first things first, let's clear the inventory of some junk. I have a bunch of stone. I'll dump in the stone train. Make sure I do it in the stone train instead of this mix up that I did earlier. What else? I have wood. Dump the wood in the box. That's fine. I have a bunch of extra stone brick I don't want. So we'll clear out the stone brick. There we go. And that's good enough for now. Yeah, okay. So from here, I do want... Oh yeah, I was looking at stone wall. We'll grab, hopefully, uh, I don't want 1.2 thousand. Well, we have 600 stone wall taking up our inventory space. But I'll give one space here, and I'll probably have to move that electric pole, which is fine. I'll leave some space there for the gate, but... So this is going to be kind of the railroad buffer. I have one, and then here is the railroad buffer. And we'll have to figure out what to do about the robot port later. But that kind of works because it keeps things in its own space. So what that tells me is you need to come from in here. And you unfortunately don't reach, so we'll go here to here. There we go. So this is going to be the... Copper, uh, not copper, iron and gear. Oh, but that means we need a gear production area. Okay, so this is just going to be iron then. We'll have to move it over one. And we'll bring in gears probably from over here. We'll make another column just for gears. So let's say, let's see, this will come down. Let's say we're bringing in gears right here. Uh, we'll just cut all these off and rearrange them as we need to. So this needs to be iron and gears. Iron can come up in here. Gears can come over from there. Iron has to come from down here. OK, 
Okay, you connect. You connect. Up you go. First things first. Let's get the iron hooked up. Um, I don't want all this to be happening right now. Please and thank you. Go away. And you will actually never be here because we already have that science. Okay. I don't have construction belts on. Good. So from here, I build my split. Clear you. And actually, I'm just going to go ahead and clear most of this. Because I don't want to have it accidentally running when I'm not paying attention or just, just when I don't want it going. So we'll clear these. Clear these. We'll fill all that in later. Alright, good enough. Whatever. Okay, here I want this. And now I can switch back to my construction bots. I do need that. And I need four. Like that. Excellent. Okay, connect you. And you. So now we have our first bit. And just to be less annoying, I'm going to move that. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is get a whole bunch of gears. So I have five machines. I see no reason not to make five gear machines. I also see no reason to not do it like really close. We'll go here. Okay, you are making gears. And your iron is going to come up on this side. Now, we don't have any more of these. We'll make a bunch. Okay, I also don't have any electric poles. I don't have any copper. Okay, we'll go grab that. Now, I don't want to be too anal about the grid at this point, the electric grid, but as you all know, it is important to me. Yes, there. And there. Okay, now from here, we can probably do bottom, top. Yeah, there we go. That'll work. You guys, you guys, and you guys. Fortunately, it looks like we're going to need another one of these, so... Go... Ah! Uh, no, these are fine. There we go. Okay, here, and we might as well space this out as much as possible. Okay, we will hook this iron up, get another source of iron, because gears use a lot of iron, so I'm okay giving it a separate pipeline. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what that is, but that's fine. We're going to do this from here. Connect these in like this for building a couple more of these. Clearly need many more, but it's fine. All right, so now we should have, here we go, and for temporary, I'm going to build myself that. All right, gears will come down. Plate will, okay, it's already up here to here. You are just waiting on gears, so let's see this get going. Come on, gears, hurry up. And we're gonna have to worry about how to get this lubricant in, but actually that might be a line right there for the lubricant. Hopefully that's not too much of a problem. Okay, here come the gears. Looks like one belt may just barely run four or five gear machines. And up we go. Ah. Yes, yeah, so the materials are being sucked up very rapidly by all the other machines here. I am going to speed up this. We're probably going to need the most speed we can get. 
out of it because gears are a highly sought after resource. We'll go here and here. And yeah, we're just going to go all the way up. Uh oh, something's being destroyed. We're here. Ah. I'm going to have to really probably go clear out that biter nest because they are really after me. Okay. How are we doing here? We are making transport belt. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going to have to call that an episode. In the next one, we'll go ahead and kind of wire up the rest of this stuff, and I'll show you it completed, at least as far as we have researched. But until then, thank you all very much for watching. My name's Monroe Type, and I'll see you next time.